winding slope given the graph of a line in quadrant 1 that models a real-world situation. Omar buys cheese from the local farmer's market. The graph below shows the cheese cost in cents versus its weight in ounces. Use the graph to answer the question. How much does the cost of the cheese increase for each ounce Omar buys in cents? And part B says, what is the slope of the line? Alright, so we're going to use this graph. So our first question, how much does the cost of the cheese increase for each ounce Omar buys? Okay, so let's look at the ounce aside. For each ounce means for one ounce. So how much does it change from zero to one? So one, the graph is now up here. So the cost changed from zero to 66 cents. So it costs 66 cents. So I found that by looking at how much it weighed for one ounce, right? For each ounce means one. And I followed this up until I found where the graph crossed one. And I went over this way and looked to see what number was over there. That was 66. That's how I found that answer. And then what is the slope of the line? Is part B. Part B says how much does it change for one ounce? That's the same answer. 66. Because that's how much the graph changed in one ounce. You can check it. In two ounces, it went up to this point. That was at 132. That's just the same as 66 plus 66. So every time it moves up one ounce, the line goes up, or the slope goes up, 66 more cents. 